I think you can come in here and be like, I'm super, super successful. And so like you can have fun with all this. Yeah. If things didn't go incredible for you, yeah. would you be as like, Happy? <laughs> yeah. Well, and happy in life, but I'm saying like coming back here being like, hey! As no, open I, to shoot the shit and, and all I that. Think I, yeah. I think it was, like I said, I think it was hard in the beginning to shoot the shit because it was like, I was so focused on trying to build the brand. But now, regardless of whether it was as successful or not, like I think I always look back on anything that like helped me get to the next spot in my life and be like mm -hmm. proud of it. Like even if it wasn't like a Spotify deal or whatever, like I look at you guys and I'm like, we hung out a lot. Like we went through a lot of shit together. So no, I'm like proud to be back. Like it's I'm always proud to say that mm -hmm. like I was at Barstool first and I, th I think sometimes people who go on to bigger things from Barstool like don't talk about it no. or like you know It's like their deep dark secret. Yeah, you've been the opposite. You've, like no, yeah, I love yeah. you guys And I think it's like at the time it's like when you're in something It's hard to be really happy wherever you are But when you leave I feel like hindsight is always 2020 and I'm like that was dope and like we had some like really crazy that kid wasn't moments so and there was nothing crazier so <laughs> off <laughs> and there was nothing crazier than in the pandemic like the blow up of caller daddy like i think it it helped the show it helped all of us so like here we are